What's shaky, my babies? Today, I wanted to feature a request from one of my amazing patrons on Patreon, Rob D. Rob D pointed me in the direction of a fan-made Star Wars film called Star Wars The New Republic Anthology. Actually, I think it's a trailer made by Eric Demacy. If you have not yet seen this trailer, I have a link to it in the description box below. Make sure you go check it out. Give Eric Demacy the view time and make sure you give him a thumbs up for the hard work that he put into this. I have not yet seen it, so we're gonna watch it together. Also bear in mind, when I do a reaction, I need to talk over things because YouTube's content ID system will flag things if I don't. It doesn't matter if it's fair use, I'm reviewing and commenting on this. So I will be talking. So again, if you have not yet seen this, make sure you see it yourself first before you see me reacting to it and that way you can see it in its unadulterated glory. Now, without further ado, let's watch this. Ooh, we're at... Mighty Sarlacc. His excellency die. I've always thought that thing is so gross. Oh. We've got some footsteps here. Oh my god, it's Boba Fett. Boba Fett made it out of the pit. He got out. <laughs> he made it. Oh, I never noticed the spikes on the on the boost. That's a cool touch. Ooh. Can hear 3PO. Echoing the past there. I would love to know where this is shot or if this is all green screen. This is really, really well done. Whoa! Oh my god, a ship just came out of like nowhere! <laughs> what? What? Yo! Dude! That is such a cool teaser trailer for an idea where Boba Fett gets back out and he can like go back and do his Boba Fett thing in the universe. I am really impressed by that. I think, so I'm, I'm continually amazed at how well acted and how well produced fan films are, especially for Star Wars. Like Star Wars has such an amazingly hardcore fan base and I count myself as one of them that are so talented and put together stuff like this. I mean, they just seamlessly wove in effects and footage and captures from the actual movies with the music, you know, just seamlessly woven in to produce what, if, if you weren't looking closely, you would honestly think that this is a real production that's gonna come out. And honestly, it kind of looks better than some of the productions that are coming out. That was just so well done. I would love to see how or where he made that. That's just such an interesting premise. So I'm looking at the description for the video and it says, after being trapped for 30 years in the great pit of Carcoon, infamous bounty hunter Boba Fett makes a death-defying escape and finds himself fighting along the rebellion to establish the new Republic. So here I would have to say, so this is a really interesting premise. But I would need more to convince me that Boba Fett would actually fight alongside the Rebellion. So perhaps that's something that if they if they made the movie or if they paid attention to the story or did the story, then I would see how that kind of twist came to occur, how he ended up fighting reluctantly or fighting willingly alongside the Rebellion, despite everything that happened. That'd be pretty cool. This is a really interesting idea. It's too bad to see, like, you know, we got the we got the solo film. Like, honestly, I would have rather had this film. I would have rather seen a new offshoot or a new story branch that is around a character that I don't know how the character ends. And I think that's the problem for me with the solo movie. I already know how it ends up. And it's not a movie that I particularly wanted to see. 
But just because I didn't want to see a movie doesn't mean I wouldn't end up really loving that movie. Just like I really loved Rogue One. One thing that I think could have happened with the Solo movie or if they had wanted to put another movie in there is exploring something like this. Like this is a great premise. And Eric Dempsey did a great, I apologize if I'm not saying that correctly, but Eric Dempsey did a great job putting this together and highlighting this escape and then putting forth the idea of this loved character that really was only on screen for a short amount of time relative to everyone else and how he evolves and moves forward within this universe and within the greater struggle at hand. And it's not focusing, again, purely on the Skywalkers or the Jedi experience. You actually get to see more of the bounty hunter side, more of the normal people side of things, which is something that I think is very cool that would be interesting to see. And that's one of the reasons why I loved Rogue One so much, is because we saw a different side of that universe. And it was very raw and you got to see the dirty part of the universe and you got to see the struggles in that universe that the that the normal people that are not blessed with the force go through and what they go through at the hands of these massive power struggles and i think this would have been a very interesting premise and a very interesting film to watch thank you again rob for telling me about this this was really cool to see Although I'm kind of mad, honestly, because now I want this movie and <laughs> it's, it's not, it's a fan movie. It's not going to get made. Kind of, kind of upset about that now, but thank you so much for your support and for suggesting this. This was really cool to watch and I did put on my Princess Leia shirt in honor of watching this, uh, this trailer. So I hope you're all doing amazingly. Make sure you check out the trailer in its entirety on Eric Dempsey's channel. Give him the views and the thumbs ups that he deserves. And in the meantime, I will catch you later, Bacons.